Well, my thought is this, and I, I've been at this game a very, very long time, and I've um, bought a ton of gear. I've always been a huge nut into wrestling clothes, attire, boots, kick pads, all, all the stuff. Like, and I've tried every look under the sun. Um, that being said, I'm not a fan of indie, uh, not indie, but uh, like if you're a professional wrestler, I always feel as though you have to look like a professional wrestler. If somebody can go to a motocross store and pick up a pair of boots and start wrestling in a pair of boots that you, you can't get custom made, like wrestling boots are made custom by like, a, like people. Like there are people out there, talented people, that make my trunks, make my knee pads. I don't buy them at – when I first started, there was nobody making it, so we had to wear Nike knee pads. But as soon as we found people to make custom gear, we got custom gear. So volleyball knee pads, no thank you. Uh, motocross boots, no thank you. Running shoes, like they wear a lot of high tops, Air Jordans, that's kind of their – a lot of guys go like, this is my style, this is what I – this is my look. Uh, it's not for me. It's, it's not for me uh, because I'm a fan of a traditional look and I don't want people thinking that they can go out and just copycat it uh, by like going out at Christmas, Halloween and just picking up um, bits and pieces everywhere and making themselves into somebody. Uh, I feel as though you want to uh, be a bigger to be a big star, to be somebody that's on a, on a different level, almost untouchable. I always talk about the kid, to the kids about this. You want to be a star. You want to be untouchable. You don't want people uh, ever thinking they could be you. You know what I mean? You want to have proper stuff, you know, and that's the thing. I like Superman and Batman didn't wear combat boots and friggin' Nike runners, do you know what I mean? It's it. The illusion is you're a, you know, larger than life. You're a superhero, a supervillain. Um, your gear should match, and that's the one thing. Although I will say that Michael's uh, long tights back in the day, more so than those pleathery pants, but those long tights, I friggin' love them. The heartbreak ones are really solid. There's one pair that he wore, and he only wore it maybe twice. The DX ones, where it was all black and it had that lime green. Uh, heart and then or DX axes or that's what it was DX axes degeneration X and it was so sweet it was mint stuff and that was probably my favorite but not a fan of the boots. <laughs> 